Hello friends, welcome to Wikipedia. Our aim is to learn and motivate others to learn. So this channel will cover various topics of mechanical engineering. So today's topic will be Rockwell Harness. So we'll see uh, there are four areas in the Rockwell Harness topic. So one is Harness, what is meant by Harness and what is meant by Indentation Harness Checking Method and uh, third one is basics about Rockwell Harness and final is what is the advantages and disadvantages of Rockwell Harness. So let us go inside the video. Let's start. Harness is the ability of material to resist deformation. So every material is having some resistance for the deformation that is called harness. So you can see the uh, image here. So when the chain is getting pulled it, at the particular load it get broken. So that particular point is called harness of a, that particular chain. So there are three methods widely used to measure the harness. So first one is the scratch harness. So by scratching the material the harness is measured. Second one is the indentation harness. Whether the ball indenter is with the application of force applied on the test piece. The left out indentation is measured and evaluated as a harness. And third one is rebound harness. Here the hardened tip is applied with the force on the test piece. So the energy loss during elast elasticity, elastic deformation, it is measured as a rebound harness. In automobile field, majorly the indentation harness are being followed. So let us see that in detail. So test piece is intended until an impression is formed by a harder ball with the external force. You can see the image below. The ball with external force, it is applied on test piece. So that creates the impression. That impression is called indentation. That indentation diameter is measured and evaluated in the indentation harness scale. So there are four indentation harness scale are being used in the engineering field. So first one is Brunel harness and second Vickers harness, the Rockwell harness and final one is Sore harness. So in this video we will see about Rockwell harness in detail. Huck Rockwell and Stanley Rockwell invented the Rockwell harness testing in 1914. So it's basically differential depth method. If you see the below image, so initially there is a preload is getting applied and further the major load is applied. So final position is reached after elastic recovery of sample. That, that particular differential depth, it is getting evaluated and it is just shown as a final harness in the display. But the, in this case, the indenter is either diamond cone or hard barred metal based on the application. And there are various scales are being used in Rockwell harness. And basically three scales are widely used, HRA, HRB, HRC. So that is based on the kg of load applied so HRA is 60 kg load applied and HRB is 100 kg and HRC is 150 kg. So based on the kg of load external force applied on the applied during indentation, the scale is defined. So widely HRC is followed in automobile engineering. In few areas HRB is also followed for software, software material. Uh, this is a wide range of metals it is covered from steel and aluminium copper all across the metals the Rockwell harness is being used 
And now let us see the advantages and disadvantages of Rahul harness. First one is no specimen preparation required. That means it's a non-destructive testing. And you can see the image harness value directly is readable. No optical extra device is required to evaluate the harness. In the scale, it is automatically after the test because it is differential method, depth method. So automatically it will be just needle will display the harness value and very quick and cost effective process. And disadvantages are it is in the intender if it is worn or damaged, it may affect our differential depth measuring method. And the test location should be completely dust and damage free. So whenever that increasing corners range, it sometimes becomes inaccurate. Like I said earlier, this Rockwell harness is widely used all across the metals from steel to copper, aluminium. Some cases it is being used in plastics also. Hope I, I hope you just got basic information and knowledge about Rockwell harness. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and share the video. Thank you.